Hi Aries, how you doing? Thanks for clicking on your weekly tarot card um, reading. I think that's what I'll call it. I'm just going to see what the cards have to say for us, for what's going on this week. You know, first we're going to look at the inside world. You know, your overall theme. What matters, what's mattering to you on a soul level. And all these readings are based on your soul energies, your spirit energy. That almost sounds more complicated than it should. Anyway, it's it's based on your soul path, soul energy, what you're working with. And then we're going to look at what's coming towards you from the outside world. And then we're going to look at possible blockages, delays, um, crossing energies. And then we'll close out the reading with some advice from Spirit for how you can get the most out of your week. Yeah. So this is a general collective reading for the sign of Aries. Uh, this is not a one-to-one -one reading. This is not a private reading for just you. Um, so by general energy, it means I'm not looking at love and romance, career and finance. I'm not looking at your neighbor Bob. I'm not looking at stuff like that. I'm just looking at the overall energy and how that's playing out for you is how you have chosen to work through the lessons. Whether you've decided to be a career-focused person, so then you're going to be facing these in the workforce. If you're a romantic person, you're going to be facing these things in your love life. Um, and those things can shift. It's not like this is how it is just for the rest of my life. No, it's, that's how you're facing it right now. So, you know, it could be interpersonal relationships. I don't know. That's quite often how the, you know, the soul lessons do work out. It's quite often through interpersonal relationships the easiest way, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, with all that said, and that was a lot, let's get into it. Let's have a look at that overall theme for our Aries Collective for this week. Oh, this week I'm just using the White Sage Tarot, my little travel deck. Nine of Cups, focusing on what makes you happy. Focusing on what fills your cup. It's a pretty good place to be. Chariot. Fastest moving energy in the tarot. The chariot. This is about balancing yin and yang. Masculine and feminine. Um, to the Gnostics, the chariot is the body, is your physical vehicle within this world. Um, that's a Gnostic view. I'm not a Gnostic. But to me, the chariot does kind of symbolize the body, our physical selves here, and us moving something forward in the physical world. So I'm seeing here, so far overall, Focusing on what's making you personally happy is helping you move forward with whatever it is you are working towards. It's very self. Wow. And the lover's car. So. This is a... Typically when we talk about the lover's car, it's a choice, an option to choose love instead of fear choose from a place of love instead of a place of fear um, and stew on that idea for a little bit there have been so many times in my life where I thought I was choosing love but I was choosing for love out of fear yeah yeah it can be, it can be complicated like that it can be tricky fuck you right up but this can also mean uh, you're moving towards a the lover's card. The other interpretation that I have for it is a divine love, something that is meant for you, um, something that's meant for all of us. Actually, is to have that divine union, that pairing with someone who truly complements you 
meets you on your level. You meet them on theirs. And growth for both comes from it. Like, if it's a karmic relationship, that's not the lover's card. That's the devil card. Okay. That's learning through fire, through stripping away. Um, the lovers is about coming together and multiplying and increasing energy instead of a stripping away of energy. It's an increase. Yeah. Alright, what's coming towards our Aries Collective this week? What do we have coming towards our Aries Collective? It's a lot. Spirit, that's a lot. Spirit doesn't want to say. High Priestess is a card of silence. It's a card of intuition. So Spirit's saying, stop asking, turn inward, feel it yourself. Or, one of the things that's coming towards you is a Pisces or someone who's highly intuitive. Or maybe your own inner gifts, your own inner High Priestess is coming towards you. But this section of the reading is really about the outside world. So it's probably someone who's highly intuitive. Doesn't always say everything that they're thinking. Because a high priestess will keep to herself um, a lot. Because oversharing just confuses the subject. Four of Pentacles. Not wanting to give to a situation. Holding back. So, someone who's counting their pennies. Someone who's in a place where they're like, yeah, this is great, but I don't want to pay for that. Hmm. What else is coming towards the Aries Collective? Three of Pentacles. Collaboration, cooperation, working together. Forming a partnership, you know it's three, you know, a team, a working together. So the four of pentacles to the three of pentacles to the high priestess. Okay, so what's coming towards you? Someone who's very intuitive, who they're reserved. I'm seeing the four of pentacles as more of like a reserved energy. They're not rushing all in, you know. They're coming in, they're reserved, and they want to collaborate with you for whatever that means yeah any potential crossing energies here spirit anything that could potentially get in the way the tower of course something that was built on a faulty foundation it's crashing down maybe you're afraid of a tower moment maybe you're afraid of something crashing down I don't know what else can we say about potential crossing energies here the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, so the Tower is Scorpio Energy. This is Pisces Energy coming towards you. This is someone who has taken the time to see things from a different perspective. It's not just the time, but they've actually gotten themselves into the position. And they've gotten themselves in the position to see things from a different perspective. So the need to see things from a new perspective might be there for you. Getting a new idea on a concept, on a whatever. And Seven of Pentacles. Looking at what you've already invested in something and determining, you know, you've got this invested, are we seeing a return on the investment? Is it worth to keep going with this or do we need to change avenues? So you have a tower, which is the ending of something, a dramatic crashing down of something. Um, looking at a new perspective and seeing what you've already invested in a situation. Yeah, that's reasonable challenge energies for a week. Kind of hefty if you ask me. Spirit didn't ask me, though, guys. I'm just telling you what Spirit's saying. I'm not the one making the stuff up. 
Okay, Spirit, what do we have for advice for our Aries Collective? What's the advice, Spirit? Two of Pentacles, balance out your physical world. You know, make sure the money coming in is not more than the money going out. Or, strike that. Make sure the money that's going out is not more than the money that's coming in. Like that. What else we got, Spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Stand strong within yourself. Nine of Pentacles is an independent energy of self-reliance. You have enough, you're good. And lastly, Spirit, the Magician. Go ahead and manifest that reality you want. Do it. It's all yours. Call it in, Aries. Now is your time. That's what I have for you, my friends. I hope you like this reading. If it resonated for you, you know, hit the thumbs up, drop a comment down below, let us know. Uh, if you want a private one-to-one -one reading with me, look me up on Instagram. My handle there is Iron Rose Alchemist. I'll leave it in the uh, description box. So you just copy it, paste it into Instagram, and you'll find me, and I'll do a reading for you. That's what I got for you, Aries. Thanks for being around. From my heart to yours, I'm sending you love, I'm sending you peace. I'll see you in the future.